I want to introduce five common mistakes and what we can do about them. The first one is levering. So if you look at the guys here, we've got bent arms, top arms pushing forward, and bottom arms pulling back. What we can do about that is to have a go with straightening our arms out. Okay, even try a completely straight arms, just as an exercise, a bit robotic, but if you can get some speed up with completely straight arms, as soon as you start putting a little bit of bend in, it's going to feel a lot more fluid and you're going to be able to engage those bigger muscle groups, the stomach and the back. Okay, it's not an arm sport. Number two is a rigid body. Okay, so if we watch these guys paddling on the next lap, really upright, there's a limit to how much power you can get in if you're stood upright like this. Lovely for, uh, for, for a day like today, looking at the scenery, but you're not going to get super powerful paddling in, okay? So what you need to do is get a bit more power in, a bit more movement, pressing down, get a bit more weight over that top hand. So you can only do that by starting to move from the hip a little bit more. Bit of rotation and a bit of pressure downwards. If you look at Kate's paddling now, getting a lot more pressure. The third one is an angled blade. So rather than a vertical paddle, we see quite a lot of having the paddle out away from the board. Okay? If you look at Matt's top arm, it's quite low. The paddle's out towards the side. And it's going to mean he's going to snake around quite a lot. Okay, so we really want to get that top arm over the bottom arm, out nice, to the, nice and to the side, so it's going to keep that paddle blade nice and vertical in the water. The fourth one is bringing the paddle too far back. It's a pet hate of mine. We bang on about it at Sub Bristol all the time, getting the paddle out at the hip, keeping those paddle strokes nice and short especially on a breezy day today it means that blade that board is uh, preserving lots of momentum between the strokes okay it's not decelerating see these strokes of mats here coming right the way back we're trying to just get it out of the hip it's going to keep you a lot more uh, it preserve a lot more momentum um, and the fifth and final one is a high recovery which is a classic okay it's just bringing the paddle blade too high on the way back all right these guys are going to town with this demonstration kate's is perhaps more realistic there okay we're just trying to bring the blade back just over the surface of the water okay just over the surface so if you bring it back too high not only are you using up loads of energy lifting that paddle blade a long lever um, but also it's catching in the wind okay so it really only needs to come over the surface of the water you watch kate's blade here Nice bit of feathering, keeping it out of the wind. And it really only just breaks the surface. Good luck with your paddling, guys.